Uh, it was about 10 years ago when I was about 12 years old. I just, the process of beer ops may have aged me a little bit. I did um, an extensive study to try and work out what DevOps skilled engineers did after they did DevOps. And it took me an awful lot of research. And after at least a couple of years of intensive research, I found out that they did beer. Hence, beer ops was born. Beer ops was the first event I went to as a junior recruiter years ago. I was blown away. Uh, the next day I told my director, Megan, that we needed to be part of this event and sponsor it every single year. And we did. Over the last six years, it's been great to see the evolution of the Beer Ops Meetup. I originally uh, met Steve Wallace actually as a candidate. We're actually trying to help place him in a DevOps engineer role many, many years ago. So Robert Walters has been involved with the Beer Ops uh, events since, for, since the beginning. Uh, we went to market, so to speak, trying to get um, to do a bit of market testing and we came up with the concept of um, what is the best tasting beverage that you've ever had in your life was the question that came up. And of course, the answer is the one that somebody else bought. Sponsors. We love you. So this is a sponsor driven event. And I thought, what if we get some sponsor beverages? and some delicious food and see if we can attract people along to network and come together. It didn't seem like a bad, a bad hypothesis at the time and it seems to have done pretty well. So Beer Ops has got bigger and bigger um, every year. Um, I think the last time Sydney we had over a thousand people kicking down the door uh, as uh, Ben and Ben and Alana from Robert Walters will tell you, it's probably just due to the incredibly good looking staff that they've got, excluding Ben, of course, uh, you know, to attract them all through the door. He's laughing about the lens. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but it's massively successful, I think. Everybody has a really good time. Uh, it, it does have a sort of sharper side to it, where we're trying to encourage people to do what everybody should be doing anyway, which of course is all about networking and going out and speaking to at least five people that you hadn't actually met before. Uh, whilst excluding the bar staff, which is a bit sad for some people, but there we go. Yeah, so that's where it all came, it all came about. I think technology is moving so damn fast. You've heard it so many times before, but that there's just no way that you'd be able to keep up with what's happening these days. So it makes crystal clear sense to me that it's impossible for my, you know, for my tiny brain to be able to get to grip with everything that is happening in the data scene, you know, ML, AI especially, and how that's going to facilitate all the DevOps stuff. Um, so I'm thinking, well, if I can't actually learn it all myself, then I might as well start to rub shoulders with some smart people, because uh, that obviously is, is, is going to help me uh, when I go into help. Uh, other clients uh, to be able to achieve their goals. I can't do it all myself. The only way that you can do it is with teamwork. So that's that's definitely one of the more the more important reasons for me uh, to do the networking stuff. And that's why I'm such an advocate and try and get as many people at Beer Ops to do the same. Uh, they are only one person. So get out there, do what do what developers are don't want to do. You know, most of the time they're introverted individuals. They love coffee. They love staying away in dark rooms, uh, but they, it's really, really important that you need to learn these skills. And it's a learned skill for you know developers generally, uh, so they can get out there, just practice, practice saying hi, practice saying hi at the end of the day. And then the next most important thing, practice saying, how can I help? We, we started off with our philanthropic cause by supporting Parliament on King. And um, from, from there, just basically through spe speaking to individuals, we found out about other people who could do with a bit of a, a, bit of a hand. So at, um, as a result, we've been able to help uh, a young man who has um, brain cancer. Uh, we've been able to help a young lady uh, survive basically who's got Kawasaki's disease um what else have we done we've given a whole a whole swag of cash to the rather awesome kids and cancer foundation uh, so really really pleased to be able to help them there's been so so many the 
the Salvation Army. We went out, my, my little boy's autistic, so um, I got him to go out and do some buying of presents at Christmas. So he went down to one of the local toy shops and spent thousands of dollars. He was just in his element, loved it. And of course, being autistic, everything had to be in order. So aged, one to three years old are going to be getting this. Three to six is going to be getting this. And he got them all segmented, thousands of dollars, uh, wrapped them all up, and then we put them under a big Christmas tree. The wonderful guys down at the sat people down at the Salvos, uh, came down, picked them up and distributed to uh, them to the kids at Christmas. Uh, so th there's been a ton of other stuff, very unexpected benefits, but very much in line with our values. Help enough people get what they want first, then you get what you want as a consequence. Try it. Over the years, the, the group has continued to evolve and so not only being one of the largest meetups in Australia, but also the role that they play bringing talented engineers, clients and candidates together and the role they play with, with diversity specifically. This year, there's a couple special partners that I think are close to my heart, uh, trying to help uh, fix the longer term industry problem with getting more diversity in uh, the engineering and tech space. My old man told me to invest in people, not ideas. Luckily, we had both. We met Stephen Wallace, who was charismatic, uh, visionary, and he ran BeatOps for the right reasons. Uh, connecting with the technology community and raising awareness for a variety of charities close to his heart. It's nice to see both tech diversity and women in technology as sponsors this year, um, co-sponsoring with Robert Walters. All we had to do was get behind him, uh, get behind the vision and the Meetup Madness team. Whilst progress has been made, there's still a long way to go. We hope that our partnership with Beer Ops helps make further progress in the industry. This is hot off the press, and don't tell anybody, it's just our little secret. Marvel Stadium, nothing less than Marvel Stadium for uh, Melbourne. And uh, looking contract right now for the star in Sydney, which is an 1800 person venue, something like that. So I'm pretty positive with Robert Walter's help that uh, we're definitely gonna be able to fill it again. What do you reckon? Yeah, let's go for it. It's been five years, there's been countless events um, and we've gone through Sydney and Melbourne and venturing into new territory in Brisbane and Perth uh, this year and for 2024 and beyond. We're the only agency partner for the last five years committed to beer ops. I mean, Robert Walters has stuck with us now for four, four, five, six years, I forget. And it's as a result of their commitment to the cause, helping the community, getting out in front of the community and think, thinking a bit differently, I think, to be able to get some different results. Um, they're very, very, very grateful. We really could not have done it without them. Even, you know, for the for the four cities that we're launching at the end of the year, we're going to be doing the existing Sydney, Melbourne, Perth, and uh, also Bris Vegas in there. Um, Robert Walters were the very, very first diamond to put their hand up and say, you know, we're there with you. So that was really reassuring. These guys ha have been wonderful for us. They have also committed to help us next year. Uh, which is really, really good. It just removes a little bit of the stress involved with this, and we're looking forward to continuing the partnership with these guys. This brings us back to the Robert Walters purpose and mission, which is to power people and organizations to fulfill their unique potential. What better way for us and for that purpose to be partnering with BeerOps? Our goal was for the Robert Walters tech name to be entrenched in the tech community. Uh, when clients have growth in their minds or when candidates are looking for their next career step, I want the Robert Walters tech team to be at the forefront, the first name that is mentioned uh, when they're making that next step. We want to be unique and consider the top tech agency in Australia. And to be the best, we need to connect in the community, in the flesh. See you there. When you're the first person to put your hand up and say, hey, we are going to be supporting you. There's a wonderful benefit that comes along with that. These guys are going to be up front and center. So when you walk into bureaus, go and say hi to the table. Say hi to Robert Walters. Go and say, go and say hi to this guy. Tell him he's got a funny furry face. <laughs>
<laughs> go and see them. They're nice. They're nice people. Um, who knows? Like they could have, you know, your dream job waiting. So go and have a little chat with them, irrespective of whether you're looking or not. Go and say hi.